that's a fuzzy wuzzy. We always called them Halloween not caterpillars. Uh, caterpillar. Pollo. <laughs> um, I think it might be a woolly bear caterpillar. We're going to be talking about woolly bears. We caught a woolly bear today, and woolly bears are orange and brown and kind of black. And ours that we caught today actually has like a like a mohawk that's white. And it's like a different species of woolly bear. And we're going to be teaching you about how to make a woolly bear habitat. Have a grown-up help help you and ask before you do it because you as you can see we had a big mess just scoosh it off you might want to do this outside and put your woolly bear in a safe spot and it's kind of it ha has to be kind of sh shady because woolly bears don't they like to bathe in the sun but not that much because it's kind of hot out today it's okay because if there's not a lot of dirt because we're gonna be putting grass on top of it. And then we're gonna put sticks. And they need sticks. They don't need sticks, but they would probably like sticks for them to like climb on and maybe like sleep on them. If you found your woolly bear, you wanna get three different types of leaves. Like we got this kind. And, and we got these. these two. And you want to put, you want to choose maybe two of them or just take a couple and put them in. It's not all of them though. I want to put some other leaves in. Okay, so now you want to go back over to your other little spot that you put them in, but put your spot with the dirt too, and maybe some like, maybe add a little bit of decoration to it. So now, you put them in. You, um, you can ask your grown up if you can keep your um, caterpillar, because they're really easy to keep, to take care of, and you can, you have to drill holes in the lid, so, so then he can breathe, and then you might want to get a big stick, to um, make him have a cocoon and then release him as a moth. So, although a bird might eat him, but it's okay. Woolly bears like to eat leaves. And since we, we put three different types of leaves because they don't like to eat one type of leaf, like I said, they like to eat multiple types of leaves. They eat grass and dandelions. Woolly bears will then start going around and look around and maybe eat the leaves. Wait, no, it's it's walking around because it's it's his new t habitat. The woolly bear caterpillar turns into a cocoon, and then what does it turn into after that? It turns into an Isabella tiger moss. It's like a really big moss that eats um that eats other insects. What is the process called when a caterpillar turns into a cocoon and then turns into a butterfly? A me metamorphosis. What is metamorphosis? Metamorphosis is like an animal that starts like very small and then starts growing and like forming into a different animal. How do woolly bears help the earth? A woolly bear poops, it makes a soil, and when it turns into a moth, other animals like birds and other insects maybe um, eat the moth and that's and that helps um, our ecosystem. Thanks, Thanks for watching! Bye! <laughs>
now. We're roly poly. We'll crawl around roly -poly? and start eating. Wait, what are they called? Where you found your millipede, your um. Can you do it? We're gonna be telling you about what um what. What are they called? <laughs> now you're gonna put this. Woolly <laughs> <laughs> bears are. <laughs> Redo it! Redo it! <laughs> the process called when a caterpillar turns into a cocoon and then into a butterfly. Meta Amasis. <laughs> And you might want to ask a girl next permission for drilling holes or putting 